Yesterday's rain and storms dumping a lot of rainfall across southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. Uh, some reports I saw 12 inches of rainfall at the Biloxi River at Wortham. Somewhere around Thibodeau and in Metairie, some areas getting over nine inches of rain. So we had some significant rainfall totals in some areas that are higher than what we see here at the official reporting sites that we have uh, in the area. But set records, Slidell, the New Orleans Airport and the Gulfport Biloxi Airport all setting daily rainfall records yesterday. Over five inches in Slidell, almost four at the New Orleans Airport and Gulfport. Over two inches of rain fell in the Baton Rouge area. None of that to talk about now. Dry conditions have taken over and will be with us for a while now. There's the frontal system bringing the rain across the eastern seaboard, Tennessee and Ohio valleys. And so you can see a big dry pattern here, which is what we will be under for at least the next several days. Cold air two hour north, so we'll continue to see some of that sinking down tonight. Some areas could wake up to the upper 30s, but generally the 40s and another chilly start uh, to the week. As we take a live look outside, beautiful weather to be outdoors, but you can see kind of the ripples there over the lake. It has been breezy today and will continue to be the case tonight. 62 degrees at the Kenner Airport. There's your wind out of the west northwest at 15 miles per hour, and so that's making it feel a little chilly and we will do so tonight. So if you do plan on heading outdoors, you may need to grab a jacket. Right now we're sitting in the low 60s generally, although Hammond just dropping right now to 59 degrees. So again tonight uh, we'll look at sunny and breezy conditions, uh, clear skies overnight with those temperatures dropping pretty quickly. But other than that, no rainfall to mention for the start of your week, so nothing uh, to impact your morning commutes aside from the chilly temperatures climbing back into near 70 degrees for Monday. So we're going to gradually start to warm back up Tuesday and Wednesday, and you know that means the humidity is going to be back as well. So we have to take advantage of this nice weather while we can by Tuesday morning. Still some 40s and low 50s rain chances over the next several days, not looking at anything through at least Thursday. But again, just be aware of the breeze right now. A sustained wind speed out of the lakefront at 24 miles per hour on your seven day forecast. We're going to get to dry out for quite a while Monday through Friday. Looking great. Temperatures will warm up. We do see some slight rain chances getting towards Saturday and Sunday. We'll continue to fine tune that forecast, but enjoy the nice weather.